Our last video looked at what a MIDI to CV converter does and why it's important. Now, let's go ahead and learn how to get the Micro MIDI connected to Ableton Live. The first thing we're going to do is go into our Ableton preferences. You can access the Ableton MIDI preferences on a Mac with command and comma or on a PC with control and comma. Next, we need to connect the USB cable on the Micro MIDI. And so once that's done, you can see it pop up in your Ableton MIDI preferences. The Micro MIDI is a class compliant device, so it doesn't need any drivers on either a Mac or a PC. Under output, because we're going out from Ableton into the Micro MIDI, we're going to turn on track and sync. Track allows the MIDI notes, gates, velocity, and CC messages to be sent from Ableton to the Micro MIDI and sync sends the clock information from Ableton to the Micro MIDI. So that gives us all the communication we need to take full advantage of the Micro MIDI. And uh, so on a MIDI track here, I'm going to say MIDI out to Micro MIDI. I have MIDI from coming from all my ins and because I have an Arturia key step connected when I play some notes, uh, you can see it lighting up in Ableton and you can also see it lighting up on the Micro MIDI there. So that lets me know that the Micro MIDI is receiving MIDI notes. And likewise, if we just uh, click in some random notes in a clip here and uh, get that playing, we can see that that clip is triggering the, the gate and trigger outputs on the Micro MIDI. But additionally, because Ableton is now playing, we have the run, 16th and clock LEDs lit up. Now the Micro MIDI comes in both this 3U format as well as a 1U format. If you have an Intelligel 7U performance case, the USB port and MIDI ports are on the top or back of the case depending on how you have it oriented. Unfortunately, we won't be able to hear anything until we actually create a patch on our system. In our next video, we'll start putting together a basic patch.